Today we're going to discuss data breach planning. This presentation deals with developing an incident response team in your medical practice. Healthcare Synergies is a consulting and insurance company specializing in HIPAA, high tech, in addition to other areas for healthcare compliance. This 10 minute video presentation could save your medical practice over $1.5 million in potential fines and penalties. 16 years ago, HIPAA was introduced into law. It took quite a while, but today, most patients are aware of their rights regarding privacy and security. For patients who aren't aware, they are now required to sign a consent form informing them of their rights under HIPAA. In 2009, HIPAA was updated to include privacy and security provisions as well as fines and penalties for the loss of electronic patient health information. It's fairly obvious, but the way we do business and give and receive information has changed a great deal since 1996. Data breaches are now big business for those fighting it and those prosecuting it. Unfortunately, medical providers have been slow to get with the program. You know, this is not very exciting stuff. I get asked all the time why these rules and regulations are so difficult and why there's so much red tape. The bottom line is, we didn't come up with the legislation, but it's our job to help physicians understand it and cope with it. But most importantly, to protect themselves and their practices from harm. I promise you this legislation is real, and I agree, it's scary. Now is the time to pay attention and prepare your medical practice, because it's not going to go away. There have been tens of millions of dollars in fines and penalties levied against medical providers since the introduction of high tech. As the Chief Operating Officer of HIPAX and founding partner of Healthcare Synergies, my team and I oversee the malpractice insurance for 4,000 physicians. Most of these physicians just want to practice medicine and don't want to be bothered with the red tape involved with running a medical business. Unfortunately for most, they don't have a choice unless they become employees of a hospital. The process has been slow and the learning curve difficult with respect to getting physicians to pay attention to these very important rules and regulations as it relates to privacy and security. Most often we get calls after something bad has already taken place. This is obviously not ideal and it's our goal to change this paradigm. We joke amongst our team that procrastination is the art of keeping up with yesterday. Well, it's certain that in physician practices, this is very true. Many of our clients just don't have the time and the resources to get their arms around this topic. As a matter of fact, it's been very challenging to introduce this topic to our clients since most of them are burdened with EMR transitions and other initiatives. We of course then understand why physicians fear this legislation because it seems almost impossible to understand and some practices would rather ignore it and hope that nothing happens. This of course is not what we advise our clients to do, but some simply just can't stop doing what they're doing long enough to implement some of the measures necessary and mandatory in some cases. We help our clients identify ways to take proactive steps and set up internal controls. This process can be long and daunting and it's not usually done all at once. The important part is beginning somewhere because ignoring the requirements will only end up costing more money and creating more problems. We find ways to make these complex situations much more manageable. The focus of this presentation is setting up an incident response plan and designating a team. This is one of many crucial steps in protecting your medical practice from harm by violating HIPAA and high tech. Another important step is completing the mandatory risk assessment that looks at the physical, technical, and administrative safeguards in place to protect your data. HIPAA is helping ensure its clients' compliance by announcing in August 2012 that it will be providing free of charge HIPAA high-tech risk assessments to all of its insureds through a partnership with HIPAA Secure Now and Art Gross, the company's CEO. Once again, Healthcare Synergies is a specialty company providing expertise on topics related to all areas of healthcare regulatory compliance. The expertise includes HIPAA high tech, OIG investigations, including fraud and abuse, RAC and ZPIC audits, and employment practices liability. It's truly a specialty company focused on healthcare compliance. And now we're going to dive right into the content of this presentation with a series of questions that we ask medical providers to answer as part of the HIPAA high-tech risk assessment 
that we often provide. Ask these important questions with respect to your medical practice, and you might be surprised with the answers. Number one, do you want to prevent privacy and security breaches from happening? Two, do you feel you lack the knowledge, tools, expertise, and financial resources to prevent these breakdowns? Three, does your organization budget for these very difficult, potentially devastating scenarios? Four, do you know how much you can be fined if a PHI data breach occurs? Five, are your business associates and vendors in compliance with HIPAA high tech standards? Six, if not, can those organizations you do business with pay for a breach, more importantly, the way you would want it to be handled? Moving on to some more important questions. Number seven, what do your business associate agreements say? Do you have BAA agreements in place? How many of your vendors use cloud computing? Do they have control over sensitive PHI or is it being lost to third parties? How much PHI data is stored in your employees' personal devices, such as laptops, cell phones, and other PDAs? And are you sure you know? Do your employees pose incident response challenges and are you able to examine employees' personal devices without invading their privacy? Once a breach occurs, do you have an incident response plan? And do you have a breach response or cyber liability insurance policy? Healthcare data breach statistics are staggering. Below are some basic calculations and news stories that reveal the magnitude of this problem. HIPAA High Tech contains 1,446 pages of rules related to PHI security. Included in these rules is a requirement that providers conduct a risk assessment. Failure to do so can and will result in fines up to one and a half million dollars. You will hear this repeated throughout this presentation. There were 489 incidents reported since 2009 and the number is growing each day. Over 21 million patients were affected by the breaches. The average data breach costs between two and two hundred and fifty dollars to remedy. Since 2009, data breaches have cost medical providers almost five billion dollars. Recently, a Boston hospital was fined $1.5 million by HHS for a data breach affecting 3,621 patients. You can see there are a series of breaches that happened in the past two months, which demonstrates how the frequency of data breaches is clearly on the rise. This cartoon, while meant to be comical, demonstrates how most medical providers feel about data security. The controls at many medical practices are extremely lax and not enforced with all staff. This is evident by the growing number of healthcare data breaches. It is important to note that privacy and security are two separate and distinct issues. Most of the medical staff we work with understand the need to keep patient health information private, but fail to understand the technical side of the security requirements. Risk assessment is a key ingredient to understanding your medical practice's exposure to security risks. It is also a mandatory requirement under the high-tech legislation which most of the physicians we work with don't know and therefore are not in compliance. You can start by conducting a simple assessment that looks at the following areas. One, the controls in place around electronically maintained information. Two, how the data is being accessed. Three, where it resides. Four, whom it's shared with, including business associates. Five, employee training and awareness. Six, how threats are dealt with by incident response teams, and finally, coverage under various insurance policies.